Hi, welcome to video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this AM2320 uh, digital temperature and humidity sensor to display the temperature in Celsius or in Fahrenheit and also display humidity in percent uh, with a simple code. So you can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started with this. So this is the AM2320 and as you can see this is the size I'm holding it in my hand so you can have a better idea. In terms of width of the module 11.9 millimeter and then the length of the module is 14.8 millimeter. and the uh, thickness or depth is 4.6 millimeter. If you want to know the length of the pen, they are 7.1 millimeter. So let's have a look at the data sheet. The sensor is made by Aosong. So this is for humidity and temperature and the type of connection or communication is digital. Uses I2C communication. So here are the important parameters here. The resolution is 0.1 for the humidity, relative humidity, and the range is minimum from 0 to 99% relative humidity. For temperature, the temperature condition for real, relative humidity is 25 degrees Celsius. So typically plus minus three. So that's for relative humidity and some drift less than 0.5 per year, that's very important to know. And then for temperature, the resolution is 0 0.1. So it, this means that you will not get 0, 0.0 something. It will go 0 0.5 or 5.1, 5.2 or 3. And then here, in terms of C and in terms of bit, it's 16 bit because it communicates with a microcontroller. Accuracy is 0 plus minus 0 0.5. So it can be off by half a degree Celsius and the range that this can show is from minus 40 to plus 80 degrees Celsius and the drift is 0 0.1 degree Celsius centigrade per year. The supply voltage 3.1 to 5.5 so we will go with 5 volts. For this AM2320 module you are either getting it like this or it might be on a module, on a PCB module, with a pin position different. But the VCC, ground VCC, SDA, and SCL, and notice here we have two extra resistors, so they just put it on this module. So the pin for the actual modules are uh, the left pin, for the first one it goes to 5 volts, VCC, this one goes to SDA, which is uh, A4 on Arduino Uno, and then this is going to the ground, and then this goes to SCL. Well, what you do is we will connect from this SDA and SCL one 4.7 kilo ohm or something between 4.7 or up to 10 kilo ohm to 5 volts and from SCL also to 5 volts. So you just put these resistors. The pins will be connected like that and after that connect this one. Then we have this uh, different Arduino. If you have Arduino Mega, SDA will be connected to 20 and then SCL will be to 21. Leonardo and Duo, these all will be mentioned in wire library at uh, arduino.cc website. I've bent it so you can see it here. Now I've bent this so you can see the wiring. The first, this is the positive. This has been connected here via that gray wire to this point which is connected to this red and the red is connected here to 5 volts. The third pin is connected via this black wire to here which is connected to this blue and blue is connected to the ground here. The second pin is connected via this 4.7 kilo resistor to the positive and then the last pin also connected via this 4.7 kilo resistor to the positive. Then from the first pin, which is pin 2, this goes to SDA. Now via this green wire. And I put it to SDA in here. And then 
the last pen is going to SCL. So that last pen is SCL. It goes to SCL. If you're using Arduino Uno, and then, then SCL is A5, and SDA is A4. And Arduino Mega, SDA is 20, and then SCL is 21, and Leonardo, and all of those. A4 and A5 are these two pens that are here. I click, once you click on the link for the library, you will come on this page, click download, and then save it somewhere that you prefer. So if I right click here and select 7-zip, I can use extract here. So if you don't have 7-zip, go get it from 7-zip.org. Uh, and once you right click and extract here you will see this folder am2320 master so this inside this there is am2320.h and then .cpp right click on this folder copy then go to your Arduino folder Arduino folder could be in drive C program files Arduino depending on your uh, computer in my case uh, in my case it's here so once you arrive at the Arduino folder you will see libraries somewhere here just click paste on an empty spot once you paste it you will see this folder the folder is here then you can open this Arduino program once you, when you paste the library if the Arduino is open it will not work so you have to close it and then open this again then go to file example and then you will see the am2320 master and then open this let me explain the code here so this the first this is the first line these are extra information instead of copyright and other stuff so this is the first line that is used so am2320 20.h is a header file which is part of the library this must be here and after that we create an object or an instance of that object so this is a sensor uh, our, uh, is our object and then the setup we just initialize serial monitor to display this and remember this 9600 must be the same as in here for example this one now it's running if I go for this value and it runs you see you will see these characters this is now if I upload it so this is now 9600 now this is 9600 and you will see we are reading this type of data so go here and select 9600 and you will see the actual text now so after that we just say sensor.begin the job of this one is to initiate the uh, library and the sensor will start activating and the sensor will start working so then inside the loop we have from here to here I've modified the code to make it simple and then here we say this uh, this text temperature is coming from here so this one and then we say temp C if you need Celsius just put C if you want Fahrenheit just type F capital F this it must be inside a single quotation and then we put this text because this is printed after that you want to see the C Celsius and then humidity after that and then this will print the humidity sensor dot get humidity and then the percent so that's the main one if there is a, ma a measure, the measurement happens. If there is an error else, then we say get the error and then check the error code. If error is number one, then we say sensor is offline. If, if error is number two, validation failed. So this will happen and when there is error. Now, this is a temp or temperature that I've created. To make it simple, it has been explained here from the measurement is, is true then we say if that T character is equal F Fahrenheit then return the Fahrenheit so this is getting the actual temperature multiplying it by 1.8 plus 32 so this will return or get 
the Fahrenheit. Otherwise, if it's not F, even if it's empty, just one code, one code like that, this will return Celsius. So the Celsius is the actual temperature. This is the temperature and returns it. So let me put the Fahrenheit and then let's change this to F. This to F. So this must be F and this is F. And then upload it. Now the temperature is in Fahrenheit. So if you want to do something or trigger some action based on temperature, just use this one. This is a Celsius. So anywhere inside the loop, you can say like this. So let's say F temperature is bigger than uh, 38 degrees. Then do whatever between these two. So you can here turn on the motor, turn on a heater, fan, whatever you want. Or if you want something less than that. So whatever you want, you would do it here. And then put here else. If the condition is not met, then do something else here. So just this way. Now let's have a look at the demonstration. So the module is connected. As you can see, it shows the temperature. This is the room temperature now, 23.5 degrees Celsius. I have a heat gun here, so I'm going to apply heat. Remember, this can show up to 80 degrees, so more than that will damage it, and also the plastic will be melted, so this is not made for harsh environments, so I will have to be careful. So now pay attention here. The temperature increased. The humidity decreased and now it's almost 50 degrees, 51, 52. It's getting hot, so the temperature is getting in and slowly it will drop back now. Thank you for watching. This was introduction to AM2320 humidity and temperature sensor. I will have other videos related to this, to, this, to use LED display and OLED displays and also the LCD 1620 to display the temperature on the screen. This is just a plain simple one and all of the codes for other projects are also available at rubojacks.com slash learn slash Arduino. Please subscribe so you can get updates of uh, my upcoming videos. If you have any question or comments, please post it at the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer and reply. Thank you for watching. Take care.